All right, one of the nice things that uh, Mike sent was this attenuator. Um, now, it's, it's a USA-made part, so I don't know if they've westernized it and called it Weinchel or it's Weinchel. So, uh, yeah, let me know if it's a W or a V. Uh, but uh, it's a programmable attenuator, and uh, it's 12-volt uh, actuators, and it has one dB step, so it's quite unusual. So uh, it goes from, it has a one dB, two dB step, four dB, six, uh, 16, 32. And then if you energize these two pins together, it gives you 64. And then all together, it'll give you 127 uh, dB of attenuation. So it is a really, really nice one. So. Of course, the very first thing I have to do is break it. Um, <laughs> I didn't break it. I opened it up. So let's take a look inside. All right. So it's standard attenuator. It's got a really nice board in it, but it's a custom board. It has deposited resistors. Uh, they've been hand tweaked. You can see the cut marks on the resistors to tune it in. Um, underneath the board are hermetically sealed little relays. I mean, this thing is a jewel. Um, it is really, really nice. So anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, well, first of all, let, let's go ahead and measure it and make sure the thing works. All right, let's take the attenuator and put it on a VNA. I believe the attenuator is good to two gigahertz. Um, I can't find a data sheet for this particular model. If somebody can find it, that would be great. The model number is uh, 5969. They have a whole series of attenuators, but I just couldn't find this particular one. But most of the attenuators are one watt. Um, I'm going to keep this one below 20 dBm, plus 20. Okay, so uh, we have it in here, and we can hook up... Uh, a common ground. I've got 12 volts here so we can play with it once we get it up and running. So uh, so here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and zoom in on it. All right, so this is 0 dBm uh, and we're at uh, 10 dB per step. So let's change the scale here to uh, 5 dB per step. And let's just uh, kind of zero things out here. There we go. All right, so we have a nice zero with zero attenuation. Um, let's go ahead and put in, uh, we'll actuate the one dB step. And you can see it fell by one dB, two dB, four dB, eight dB, uh, 16 dB, 32 d oops 32 db now i'm going to have to change the scale scale for division 10 32 db and then let's do 64 so one side of the 64 is a 32 and the other side is a 32 and if you put the two 32s together another jumper wire here you get 64 and um yeah so attenuator works a treat. So now that I know the attenuator is good, uh, I really want to uh, do something with this. All right, so um, I want to I want to use this thing. I, I, it is so nice. It deserves it deserves a controller. So what I'm thinking of doing is laying out a PC board that will connect to the pins here. So it'll be a long PC board, and then it'll have uh, I think up and down arrow keys. Uh, buttons to go up and up and down and then maybe a display that tells you what attenuation setting you have maybe uh, 120 so a three digit three digit display so yeah maybe a little microcontroller I think that'd be a that'd be a really really fun project so I think I think that's what I'll do